Hello and welcome to my jungle garden. Let's go look at some plants. So right here we have a mix of Cavendish and apple bananas. Cavendish are the bananas that you'll find in the grocery store. Apple bananas are the preferred banana here on the island. They are bunchy top resistant and bunchy top is a virus that we have is wreaking havoc on the banana production here. There's ways to work around it and we work with it and we live with it and we still eat bananas. We have several other varieties. We have a variety known as Blue Java that is said to taste like ice cream and also carries the name ice cream banana. We have a variety called Cuban Red that is uh, really, really sweet. When you eat a homegrown banana, it's much better than the thing you get at uh, your local produce store. We have several gingers on the property. And this one is interesting here because of the way it reproduces. You see it has a whole plant right here, roots and all, goes right into the ground. You have a ginger. This is a member of the Dracenia family called Song of India. We also have a solid green variety that is called Song of Ireland. We have several different varieties of teas. That's Hawaiian tea, spelled T-I. This was a canoe plant that the Hawaiians used for many different things. It's kind of the duct tape. They cooked in it, they used it for clothing, for all sorts of things. This is called a loquat, or Japanese plum. They have these small yellow, kind of orangey yellow fruits that are really, really sweet. It's not a true plum, as in not related to the European plum or the North American plum, but it is really, really tasty. This is a very interesting member of the nightshade family called a naranjillo or a lulo. It looks kind of like a tomato, except that it's radioactive orange. It's really sweet and kind of tangy. I think the best descriptor that I've ever heard someone use is ecto cooler. It tastes like ecto cooler. If you're a child of the 80s, you know what I mean. This is a Suriname cherry or Eugenia uniflora. It makes a nice little cherry that's also known as the Chinese lantern fruit. You can see why they might call it that. It's tart and has the combined taste of a bell pepper and a sweet cherry with a sour, tart, weird, resinous back end. It's one that you either love or hate. Virginia loves it. I'm not a huge fan. What I'm walking by now is a Jamaican lilikoi or passion fruit. We have also a purple variety. These are hapu'u. And they have just the coolest growth pattern. There are several wild guava here, but I do have a white Indonesian variety that is really good and is cultivated intentionally. We have several young fruit trees. This is an avocado that is suffering from the same lacewing bug as every other avocado on the island. Small jackfruit here. Some wild guavas. This is Monstera deliciosa. This is a common house plant, but if you let it grow wild, it gets pretty big. And it does, as the name suggests, have a very tasty fruit. However, there are some rules or you're gonna get a mouthful of needles. Not something to just pop right in the mouth. This is mamaki, or a Hawaiian tea. This is in the mulberry family. Here are my papayas. They're nice and small. I'm not sure the variety. They're probably solos. Uh, baseball size, tiny, tasty. Uh, just enough for one person to have a meal. Here's another young fruit tree, a soursop, or guanabana. Walking along here are the red bananas I told you about. Dwarf coconuts. We have heliconias and the apple bananas. These are called torch ginger, and as the name suggests, they have a flower that kind of looks like a torch. They grow very large. This is a kakui nut, or candle nut, and it was another canoe plant where the Hawaiians would use the nut as a candle. And that's why it's called candle nut. 
It's also edible. If you cook it, it's a tasty treat. If you don't cook it, it'll get things moving. Here we have a white pineapple. These are sweet, delicious. There's no core or, well, an edible core. They are, if you're gonna grow a pineapple, the only one you should bother with. And with that said, have a beautiful weekend, everybody. I can't wait to make an update.